I've been down so long, it look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. I've been down so long, it look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I created this get ready with me fall clubbing makeup look. Now if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, please continue to watch. Remember to like this video if you do like it. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. That way you'll not miss any more of my uploads. I already did my face makeup off camera. If you do want a detailed highlight and contouring video, please to check my description box for the link down below. So now I'm going in with the Beauty Treat blush palette and I'm taking the lightest shadow from that blush palette, the lightest pink. And I'm just blending this as my transition shade and going in with a much more deeper pink, more of a rose pink and I'm just blending this in my crease area and diffusing both the shadows together so now I'm going in so each time I'm going in with a pink I'm going in with a more deeper pink a more rose a more rose pink so now I'm just blending these together ensuring that the the shadow is built up in my crease area and I'm getting the, the look that I'm going for now I'm going in with this Coastal Sins single art part and this is called wire resin and this is just like a, a plum shade so I just want to focus this plum shade in my crease area so this purple I'm just blending this in my crease so I'm starting from the outer V and blending this inward and winging this out to the outside of the eye so now I am just blending this back and forth ensuring that everything is nice and diffused and it is well blended in the pink now I'm going in with this single eyeshadow from Forever 21 and using a Coastal Sense crease brush just to blend this in my crease area so each time I'm going in with a shadow I'm ensuring that everything is more deeper and darker now to I like my brow bone area. I'm going in with the other beauty 3D highlighter. Other beauty 3D highlighter and definitely putting that underneath my brow bone. Now to clean up my eyes, I'm going in with this Ella Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I'm just using this on a flat brush just to define the the crease that I'm going for and winging this out. So once you go over your natural crease that is where I want the crease to be created because my eyes are hooded so I just go slightly above my natural crease now I'm taking the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I'm taking the shadow from the palette just to set the concealer in place and ensuring that we have a base before we add our glitters now I'm going in with the NYC liquid liner and I'm just using this just to ensure that I make a mother's wing and then yeah so I just outline sketch out how I want the wing to be and fill it in with the black liquid liner now I'm taking the elf glitter primer and I'm placing this all over where we place that shadow now I'm using this beautiful nice pink tastic is the name of this glitter I do have a glitter haul where I talk about this glitter so you can definitely check out that down below so I'm just basically packing this on onto the area now I just prefer to do the liner before I do the wing because the glitter can become very messy and if you do the liner after you can definitely experience cracking now I'm going in with this forever 21 mega mascara and just blending and out my natural lashes then I'll be adding some of my favorite set of false lash now I'm going in with this palette and I'm taking the black shadow from the palette and I'm using this just to blend out my under eye my lashes so I'm just smoking out my lower lashes basically I'm going in with this rose at pink shadow and I'm just placing this underneath where I place that black one just to further define and smoke out the look some more and definitely give that pink a pop underneath my lower 
lashes now i use the clean color setting spray and did went ahead and set my face then i go in with the 3d other beauty highlighter and i'm using that nice gold shade from that palette that i used for my brow bone area and i am just using this as my highlighter today so i'm not going too too overboard with this highlighter so i'm highlighting the eye points of my face my cupid's bow and the bridge part of my nose so wherever lights it the most that is where i'm focusing most of my highlight on no for lips i'm going in with this jeffree star liquid lipstick i can leave the name of the products that i use in my description box but this lipstick is from jeffree star you can definitely leave the lips matte and flat just as this but i wanted something more so i added some nyx some nyx white eyeshadow base this is the one in the little jar and I definitely had some of that to the center of my lips just to give it a more ombre effect I was not feeling the flat pink so I definitely had this and I super love the way this turned out so I'm just using this elf blush just to blend out the center part of my lips and get the desired ombre effect that I'm going for no I am going to just use the gorilla snot and I'm just using this just to lay my edges and yeah just brush in my edges and ensuring that my edges are laid really flat and definitely be brushing my ear down I did already use the flat iron to iron my hair and yeah so this will actually be the look and I hope you enjoy it if you do don't forget to give it a thumb up comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed that way you'll not miss any more of my uploads until next time see ya I've been down so long it look like up to me they look up to me I got fake people showing fake love to me straight up to my face to my face I've been down so long it looked like a